Hey, 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 this is day in the life of the doggy. I just woke up about 30 minutes ago. This is what I sound like in the morning. People wonder if I smoke a lot of cigarettes. I do not, and I don't drink whiskey either. I just sound like this in the morning, mainly. By the way, I gotta give a shout out because some fan gave me this wicked Star Wars shirt. Wherever you are, I wear to sleep every night. Anyway, so that's what I do in the morning. I have coffee with my Star Wars mug. Thanks, Jen. This is what we have to do every single day. It's freezing, it's Fort Wayne. It is so sinking cold out here. I feel really bad for, I can't even talk. I feel really bad for the people coming and waiting out here. Been looking for the door, found it. This is what we do every day, look. Here it is, in between the trucks. Walk down, you'll find it. road life because last week let's see one of our crew members broke his leg moving skillet stuff cryo stuff because we're huge and we have a lot of stuff JK it's not funny too soon it's not really JK we do have a lot of stuff we do a lot of stuff and then one of our members unfortunately had a, a death in the family so we had to call and who was West taking for Crown. We called David Crowder's people because we were in Atlanta, which is where they're from. So thanks to David Crowder's folks. Thanks for Wes for joining us. Made it happen, and um, there's a lot going on. So that's production world. Got to make the beard go right the right ways. Well, I think I've used wax, so my beard's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit untamed. I see. So you put a hair dryer on it to make it kind of like pomade almost. And then you just gotta like... Ooh, it smells good. Yeah, gotta shave it, you see. Let's look in the mirror and make sure that we're all... Yeah, see? There you go. Beard done. 12.45, tattooing is about to start. I've got... You go and you can laugh at my shorts if you want. These are my, my PJ tattoo shorts. I've had them for like... For like 500 years. It's tattoo day, it's tattoo day. It's tattoo day, it's tattoo day. Getting on the nerves and they ignore me. It's tattoo day. All right, three o'clock and uh, we're still tattooing. We're having fun. And I got a, uh, a phone conference with my manager and publicity. So we have to do that while we do tattooing, which is unfortunate. 4.51, just got done. It rhymes. Oh my God. That's <laughs> <laughs> what they look like when they're done. They're all, they get all swole up. Spidey Venom, Green Goblin got colored, and then in two days, Captain's gonna get colored. So now I'm gonna get a little bit dressed, and go and uh, work with the production team. I'm undefeated! I'm a singer, so I can. Right now we're going, it's about, what time did you say it was? About 6.45, going to say hey to the youth workers. I want you to join me in making some loud, crazy noise for John Cooper, everybody. Give it up for John, everybody. Yes, you saw it here. 7.01. We have, uh, I say a new guitar tech today, but he's a new old guitar tech. Nick was with us for a few years, and he's back. You're gonna be in the pocket for tonight. So we're gonna go over stuff. So this is what we do at 701. Okay, 745. I just got done with all my stuff, I think, for a little while. So this is gonna be my my chill out time. I do after after uh, everybody's eating dinner. We did my youth pastor talk back. I did my meetings already. I just met with the production team for the venue. Did my guitar tech meeting. I think all we have now is um, a meet and greet with some fans. And then we get ready for the show and warm up. Now it's time to go sit down for a few minutes. Maybe watch some TV. Hopefully. 
Look at this. No one is here, so Doggy gets to rest for a few minutes. It's just the price I pay. <laughs> Destiny is calling me. I feel literally like you're tickling my butt. It's, it's <laughs> different than normal. Something was different than normal down there. So John is the quintessential frontman, full of charisma and energy. But what a lot of people don't know about him is that he is kind of the brains and the heart behind Skillet. He's the boss. He's the owner. And he is the visionary, and he's involved in every single aspect of what we do, all the way from production, all the production moments from there, all the way to merchandising. He kind of oversees and has input and steers all that stuff. So he's always got a lot going on. Um, John does this because he loves people, and he loves music, and he's just driven to make a difference and make an impact. And so. That's why he makes all the sacrifices he does. Those are things you can't necessarily see because he's such a crazy goofball most of the time. Okay, all done. Back at the bus. Favorite part of the day because we get to relax just for a little while. That's what we call the girls now. I call Corey salsa and I call Jen cheese dip. <laughs> that was for lots and lots of fun. See you tomorrow. Hot 454. Thirsty as crap. Did anybody get the boots? Did you?